Carpal tunnel syndrome can have several causes. Uh, we certainly see this in conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, and hypothyroidism, as well as pregnancy because of the fluid overload. Most commonly, carpal tunnel syndrome occurs in regular everyday activities from normal wear and tear and use and overuse of the hands, mostly in the younger population. But as we get older, we have more propensity to get carpal tunnel syndrome as well. On ad carpal tunnel syndrome, which is a very common condition where there's an entrapment of the median nerve, which is a big nerve in your hand that goes to your fingers and thumb. Mrs. Caney had an endoscopic carpal tunnel release. Her carpal tunnel just developed in her normal daily activities, really. It wasn't because she was sitting behind a computer with repetitive motion. Hers just came about from her normal daily activities, just routine life stuff with kids and family. And it progressed slowly through the years and to the point that it got unbearable for her, where it was waking her up at night. So we got nerve tests, and it showed that she did, in fact, have carpal tunnel syndrome, which was moderate in severity, still enough to warrant uh, you know, surgical intervention. And what we do is we release the ligament that's entrapping that nerve. And how we do that is minimally invasive uh, technique, which is where we make a small incision, about a centimeter, and use a camera on the undersurface of that ligament with a knife attached to it to release that ligament in its entirety. So it used to be where you have a five centimeter incision or so and release the ligament along its course, directly open, looking at all the structures. Now we can use a camera to look at the structures under the skin with a very small incision, about a centimeter, which is very, very minimally invasive and it's much better for the patient. They get back to their function with less pain quicker and the, the healing process is a lot faster since it's just a small incision. The way we do the surgery is we make a transverse incision in the skin. I've actually marked it out here for our patients uh, to show them. And it's in your skin crease. So basically, when, you, when that heals, it'll look just like your skin crease and you won't be able to see much of a scar at all because the suture's underneath the skin. So cosmetically, it's very pleasing for patients. After surgery, what happens is the patients see our board-certified hand therapist in a week. And the therapist sits down with the patients and tailors a specific program to their needs and wants meaning that they'll have an initial visit and they can teach the patient what to do on their own, or if the patient needs more therapy, then they can come in regularly for the next several weeks.